Every year, the merchants, shopkeepers, and restaurateurs of Falmouth Village put up an amazing display of scarecrows. It's a friendly competition where the public gets to vote on which scarecrow is their favorite. Here we are in front of Añejo, a Mexican bistro. They always do a terrific job on their scarecrows. If there are scarecrows on the sidewalks of Cape Cod, you're surely going to have a lobster scarecrow. This one is in front of the Gilded Oyster. The College Light Opera Company did a beautiful costumed scarecrow. If you had a restaurant named Pickle Jar, what type of scarecrow would you put out? Well, of course, you put out a pickle scarecrow. Well, that's something you don't see every day. A toaster cemetery in front of the pickle jar. Very clever. This realtor has a scarecrow of Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. There's no place like home. In front of Eastman's Hardware, there's a scarecrow that's blowing in the bloody Cape Cod wind. Listen to it. Falmouth is a town with many artists, and Main Street has lots of public art. Here's an alphabet chair by Sarah Peters in front of a cousin's bookstore. And some more public art featured in front of the Main Street Gallery. some really cool art by Falmouth artist Alfie Glover. And why not a scarecrow of Vincent Van Gogh? This scarecrow pays homage to the volunteers in public schools here in Falmouth. entrance to Falmouth Town Hall. There's a memorial here for Tommy Leonard, who was one of the co-founders of the Falmouth Road Race. A couple dancing scarecrows at the Quarter Deck restaurant. Looks like this scarecrow took the Compassionate Care ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Here's Peg Noonan Park where we feature concerts and other events throughout the year. Whenever I'm 
in Falmouth, I stopped by the Catherine Lee Bates statue right here at the Falmouth Library Lawn. Catherine Lee Bates was born right here in Falmouth, and many of you may know that she wrote America the Beautiful. She went on a trip from Falmouth to Pikes Peak and was so inspired by the view that the words for the song came into her head and she penned it the very next day. We're very proud of our Catherine Lee Bates here in Falmouth. St. Vincent de Paul cherries. Isn't that wonderful? Shivrix is a new restaurant in town. They've decided on a pirate theme. Here we're at Leah McGuire's Irish Pub. Liam's always has beautiful floral displays. And this guy shows up every year around Halloween. It's a fun place to dine and a great place to listen to good music too. He has their traditional looking scarecrow. Here we are at Tommy's Place. Tommy's Place is a magical home for kids fighting cancer where a family can stay for free one week a year. Eugene Henry's gastronomical delights certainly has an interesting play on a scary crow. Here's an underwater sea creature that the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution put in. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. My very favorite scarecrow is on the theme of Beauty and the Beast. And it's from our very own French patisserie called Maison Villette, right here on Main Street, Falmouth. Isn't it spectacular? I hope you've enjoyed this postcard from Cape Cod. Bye for now.